In this video, we will learn how to maintain accounts of a composition dealer. So to do that, let us first create a company in Tally. Let us create a company with the name accounts first and for marking the that this company is uh, for composition scheme, I have mentioned the name composition. For your business, you have to only mention your company name. Here, we have to fill the address. After that, we have to select the state and then the pin code. And then we can provide the mobile number, email ID, etc. If you have a website for your business, you can provide the website name here. After that, you have to select the financial year and the books beginning from that date. And then you have to simply press enter key or you have to press control A to accept the screen. Once you have accept the screen, you can see a message that the company has been created successfully. Now here, either you can press escape key and exit this option or you can directly go to this taxation option and enable the GST. For now, I am pressing the escape key. Now you can see the company has been created successfully. Now here we have to go to uh, features option. So for that we have to press F11. Here we have to go to this enable GST option and then we have to press enter. Here we have to select the state and then we have to select registration type as composition. Once you select it as composition, it will ask you for this option. You have to select as no. And then if you are uh, SSC of any other territory, then you have to select it as yes. And you have to mention the name of the territory. Uh, right now, I'm skipping this part. Now, here we have to uh, mention the date from which the GST is applicable to our business. After mentioning the date, we have to provide the GST number of our business. And then we have to provide the rate of tax that is applicable to our business. And then we have to select taxable value for the basis of tax calculation. After that, we have to enable, uh, we have to mark this as yes for enabling the tax rate for purchase. And then if e-waiver is applicable to your business, then you have to mark it as yes. And then you have to mention the date from which e bill is applicable. You have to provide the uh, invoice value as a threshold limit and the threshold limit amount will be 50,000. As the e bill is applicable for interest rate also, then we have to make it as yes and the threshold limit will be same. If you wish to print the e e bill with your invoice, then you have to mark this option as yes. And then you have to accept the screen. Here also you have to either accept the screen by control A or you have to simply press enter key to accept the screen. Once you have enabled GST, now you have to create ledgers. First of all, we will create CGST ledger. For composition scheme, as we know that the dealer cannot take any ITC on any purchase. So here we have to make the GST part as a cost of the goods. For that, we have to select it as direct expenses under direct expenses we have to select the type of ledger as cgst here you have to see that uh, you have to make uh, sure that this option is yes after selecting it as yes we have to press enter key and accept the screen similarly we have to create sgst ledger here we have to select state tax and then we have to accept the screen by control a and then we will create IGST ledgers here also same and then we have to accept the screen now we will create round off ledger sorry a round off and the nature will be indirect expense here we have to select invoice rounding and then we have to accept the screen after this we can create one or two creditor for example we have to create Anika traders 
and then we have to provide the uh, group as sensitive creditor and then if we wish to maintain the details of this party bill by bill then we have to make this option as yes after that we have to fill the address details mobile number contact details and then we have to we can uh, provide pan details also and then we have to provide the gst number of the party once we provide the gst number we have to press enter and we have to save the ledger in the same way we can create more ledgers now for passing entries we have to go to vouchers from vouchers we will select f9 that is purchase we can see here already the purchase voucher is uh, on the screen to make purchase entry first of all we have to provide the date on which we are going to uh, enter the transaction for example today is 15th june so with f2 we have to select the date as 15th june and then we have to provide the supplier invoice number for example the supplier invoice number is 15 and the date of the invoice is 14th june we have received the good on goods on 15th that's why we are uh, passing the entry on 15th but the invoice was raised by the supplier on 14th so we have to mention the date of invoice here here we have to select the party that is anika traders and now we have to select the purchase ledger here we, you can see there is no list of any purchase ledger here so we can create one for creating you can either select this create option or you can simply press alter plus c here you can make a purchase account under purchase accounts group and then you have to select it as not applicable here gst is applicable to our business and then we don't need to configure any gst details here because we will configure the gst details stock item wise here we have to select the type of supply our uh, business is dealing with and then we have to press enter now you can see it is asking for name of ledger in your tally it might be possible that it may not ask you name of ledger for that you have to simply go to this change mode option and you have to select this item invoice if your tally is showing like this this particular option that means it is an accounting voucher mode you have to change it from this one now you can see that no list of stock item is there we can create a new either by going to this option or we can simply press alter plus c to create a new stock for example we are creating mobile phone here we can provide the group name for now i am skipping this part here we have to create the unit for creating unit either we can press alter c again or we can go to this create here mobile number comes to a uh, mobile comes to pieces and then we can uh, make the decimal digit uh, number of decimal places as 2 and then we have to provide the gst details of this mobile phone here we have to make this applicable and then here we have to make it as yes after that we can provide the description as mobile phone and then the hsn code of this mobile phone after that you have to select this calculation type as on value if you are unable to see all these details you can simply go to this configure here you can make the option as yes that you wish to see in this window now as mobile is taxable we have to select the taxability as taxable and then we have to provide the igst tax as 18% because 18% tax is applicable on mobile phone at present and then we have to press enter key to accept the screen here we have to provide the quantity for example i have purchased 10 mobile phone at the rate of 10000 each and then here we have to provide the gst details you can see gst is calculated automatically because we have provided the rate of gst in this mobile phone stock item here if round off is required you can provide but you can see already the invoice is rounded off therefore there is no amount selected by this ledger 
here you can provide the e -wavel details for now i am skipping this part and then you have to simply press enter key and you have to you can mention the narration also if required and you can simply press enter now if we go to stock summary we can see that the cost of each mobile is increased by 1800 let us check again we are, we are pressing enter key here you can see the cost of each mobile was rupees 10000 but when we press alter a uh, sorry uh, for this composition scheme tax analysis is not uh, applicable in this voucher that's why it's not showing you can see that uh, if we make it make it as one <coughs> and then if we save the voucher again you can see the rate or the cost of each mobile is 11,800 that is this rate plus this GST amount because we are a composition dealer and a composition dealer cannot take the input of any GST on purchase that's why this become a cost of our product so with this you can simply do your purchase entries after that you can see your GST reports also for that you have to go to display and then GST reports and then you can check here your CMP 08 or GSTR 4 for now I am checking my GSTR as CMP 08 here you can see included in return is 1 but no direct implication in return table because in GST CMP 08 we have to provide only the sales details that's why it is the no details are showing here now to uh, check the implication on, on uh, GST CMP 08 we can pass a sales entry let's suppose we are making a cash sales while making a sales ledger we have to just configure this as goods and we have to come out from this uh, window and here we have to select the stock item that is <coughs> mobile phone and we have to make the we have to provide the rate that we wish to here if we will uh, configure uh, if we will put this uh, gst ledger then you can see no gst amount is showing because we are a composition dealer and in f11 you can see we have mentioned that we are a composition dealer that's why tally will not calculate any gst amount on sales here I am removing this entry and then I am accepting this entry as 15,000. Now if we wish to go to uh, check the CMP08 again, we can either go to this display and then statutory report or simply we can click on go to and we can search the CMP08 form. Here you can see for the period the total taxable amount is 15,000 the taxable rate is 1% for me and 1% is total that is CGST and SGST that is on 15,000 0.5% CGST will be there on 15,000 0.5% will be SGST like this the total tax amount is 150 for me and you can see tally has calculated all the things automatically so in this way, you can simply create a company for composition dealer and you can do your accounting.